Hopefully. Hopefully it don't fall. Yeah, so I'm gonna see how this will work. Just try something different, you know what I mean? Wipe up the bathroom, I don't know how this would look. Cause I don't know if a bathroom is something like a like a private place where you wanna like do content. Y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all I mean you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm a bit boring, but I'd be all right, you know. You know, I've been, the last, I think the last live I did, I said, about two days ago, I think. I, yeah, I said I wanted to, like, advance and try something different. You know what I mean? I want to try something different, you know. Um, you know, my life pretty much been more like I feel like I didn't get a chance to expand you know when I say expand I guess I don't know what the hell I'm saying like go out into the real world you know what I'm saying and you find yourself what 50 some years old maybe 40 something going in your 50s Living, you, it's like you gotta live your life and you gotta catch up what you missed. And you'll be 70 years old, 80 years old, living uh, the life that you should have lived in your 20s, if that makes sense. You'll be at probably, I'll be probably 70 some years old, live where I should have been when I was 30 living a good life. I probably get 70. I'm just making up something. You see what I'm saying? Because when you miss a lot, it's it's like almost like similar to missing a child. Miss it's not exactly missing a childhood, but it's almost seem like it. You see what I'm saying? You miss like you missed out on a lot of things that you should have done being younger you see what i'm saying and it's almost like missing out on your childhood but it's not exactly missing out on your childhood but in a way it feels like it because at 40 years old like the reason i'm going into this is because at in my 40s you know what i'm saying the average guy and i'm not putting down on myself I'm just saying, like, at 40 years old, the average man should have his own legacy, his own house, his own family, his own everything. You, know, you see what I'm saying? So I'm looking at my life, and I'm saying I'm looking at from the, as far as I can remember, being younger, looking at my life now. And I'm like, damn, my life wasn't really regular. You see what I'm saying? It wasn't like average. If 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 the, you it you know if you know what I'm saying, trying to say you see what I'm saying, and I feel like my brothers, you know, we all we we, we all have like similar struggles. It's the same struggle, the same struggle. It's the same like you're trying to find yourself, but it's like different struggles. As you would say, we came from the same. Raised in the same background, came from the same father, same mother, but we just lived our lives life differently. Differently, I never would have thought that I would still be like you. Can be? It's like this here. You can be a fifty-year-old man. You are you are a fifty. It's like you are a, a forty or fifty year old child. You know what I mean? Because you trying to catch up where you left off at. You know what I mean? It's like you got to spend years to catch all the years that you miss out. Like people like me would probably be the, my age and younger than me would probably be out driving trucks. 
you know, and being on the road, driving trucks, you know what I mean? That, to me, that's a, a average life for a man. So, me being 40-something, I feel like I'm communicating on a 18-year-old, or uh, I feel like, sometimes I feel like I'm communicating on a child's level. I'm still grown physically. You see what I'm saying? And it's like, I don't know. It's like, you know how some people miss their childhood? Like, let's, let's compare this to, I guess I can say it because I kind of can, I don't know. Should I say that? You know how some people miss out on their childhood and they find themselves I think I'm going to think before I put that one out. It's kind of embarrassing, but when you missed out, it's like missing out on a childhood, like I said in the beginning of this video. And, and it's like you're trying to find yourself and family members, you, you know, we have family members being locked up all their life. That's a prison. My prison is not the same as my family member's prison a jail. My jail and prison is more mentally struggling emotionally. They jail and prison is physical while mine is, is mental. Mental prison and physical prison can still do damage to you. Even though I feel I've been I'm loose or I'm free. No, I'm not gonna say I'm free. But I'm loose and I'm out, out and about uh, physically. I can physically walk outside and go where I want to go. And you still can be a slave in the mind. You still can be slave. So I feel like I've been more so slave, enslaved here, mentally and emotionally. You know, I've been, been enslaved because you, there are many different ways that you can be enslaved. The so-called black man been enslaved in many different ways. There are many, there are different other ways you can be enslaved. You can be enslaved to what people think. You can be enslaved to in your house, especially. You see what I'm saying? So when it comes to being saying, talking about a struggle, I can relate to the struggles. I definitely can pour that out. And, and the people that has actually been in my life more that knows me, the people that I've been around, the people in my community knows, they, they know me. They probably, you know what I'm saying, more than likely the people that know of you and know been around you a little more in the community, in the neighborhood and stuff versus people that don't really know you personal. The people that have been around you and been kind of raised up around you and been friends with you, you met when y'all was in high school or you met years ago, you met 10, 15 years ago, the one that met you 15, 20 years ago, we're going to know a little bit more about you than the person that you just met and you knew for two months. You see what I'm saying? Because it's like even the people that you meet and you friends, it's like your family, you know? So when it comes to struggles, I also had a problem with uh, which I don't over kind of overcame a little bit. Uh, I grew up to where, and I tell the story all the time. Well, I used to didn't want to. I was kind of embarrassed to do it, but now it don't. It, it doesn't bother me anymore. Uh, I came up to where I couldn't read or write. I came from a place where I had a very poor education. I came up to where we came from a poor poverty, born in poverty raised in poverty. You see what I'm saying? So, from what I see, I can relate to that. To a struggle based upon, because see, think about it. Mental slavery and what you call this other one? Uh, like ancient slave. Ancient slavery is when the slaves worked out in the field, Right? That's when the, when, when the ancient slaves, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans worked in the field. You see what I'm saying? 
uh, the ancient slave, I mean, not ancient, but uh, the modern day slavery would be the modern day slavery today. You see what I'm saying? The, the modern day slavery would be mental slave. Now, the modern day slavery would be the jailhouse and the prison that our people are in. You see what I'm saying? So, when you look at you can almost look and you can tell who fit those curses when it comes to slavery. And that's in Deuteronomy 28. That's that's built. If you want to get biblical, so to speak, and you look at Deuteronomy 28, it's only one group of people fit those curses. That's the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American people, which are the real Jews according to the Bible. They are the real Jews. The real Jews, no other nation, nation of people went through those trauma, those uh atrocities and, and uh, the slave trade like that. The only people that went through the slave trade were the, were the slaves, the black slaves, the Hispanic and the Native American people. You know what I'm saying? When the French man came over here and he colonized the natives, they came over here and they killed off the native Indians. All of this information, it, you can find it, it's, it's, it's history. It's biblical history. You know what I'm saying? The Bible is a uh, is a is a history book. It's not a religious book. Religion. Now let's get let, let's just say a little something about that. When people say that the Bible is a religious book, right? The Bible is not a religious book. What the slave masters would do during slavery, they would take the Bible. And they would take parts out of the Bible, but they never gave our people the Bible in the full context. They would take things out of context that would sound right to the slave masters, which were the slave masters of the slave masses. And they would use our biblical book against us. You see what I'm saying? And that's why you got the single parent household, all those things, single parent household, uh, fathers leaving the children, all these things. You go right in Deuteronomy 28 in the Bible, you're going to find all this stuff in the Bible. No other nation can listen to this conversation and can relate, can relate to this. No other Chinese man, the East Indian man, the Arab man, the Ashkenaz, a uh, Jewish man can't look at that, hear these things and say, oh, that's talking about me. You see what I'm saying? When we read the Bible or when we look at history, when we hear things such as, because who do you hear getting killed, slain and killed in the streets more? The so-called black people. You know what I mean? Who are the main people who shoot and killing people and rape, rob, and murder masses and stuff. The so-called white people, right? Now, when people say, when we say, uh, you heard the word, uh, if you're hearing it for the first time, when we say, uh, you hear, I say it a many times, and I've said it many times on my YouTube channel, the white man is the devil on the planet. Now, when we say that the white man is the devil, we are simply saying that he it just simply means that he's the number one deceiver on the planet when it comes to killing, rape, rob, and murder, all that stuff. Because they went around the world and they raped, robbed, and murdered every single body. Yes, they did. I really didn't intend to talk about that. But I went into more details than I normally would, would than I normally thought I would, you know. Now, when you talk about stuff like that, usually Facebook they don't they, they, they don't really like when you they, they, they either flag your your video, they don't want you to speak like that, you know what I'm saying? But I'm one of those people. I don't believe it. I don't like the sugar pork thing. You, you 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 feel me? I'm one of those people. <laughs> I came from a place. If something bothers me, I'm gonna tell you. If a person made me angry about something, 
I'm not going to just wait until you leave and then say it. I'm going to let you know exactly how I feel and what's on my mind. I'm going to let you know what's bothering me. Now, they may, it's how they take it, that's on them. You see what I'm saying? Uh, if I've done something wrong, if I've done something bad, I don't mind saying what I've done was wrong. Or if you point something out that wasn't right. Even if I get mad over it, I still want you to tell me what the fuck I did wrong. You see what I'm saying? That's how I feel. You know what I mean? But I'm one of those, if something is bothering me, and I'm doing and I'm doing everything in my power. And I know I'm kind of mixing the video up a little bit. It sounds like that's what I'm doing. But anyway, we're just talking. I'm just expressing what's on my mind. And I just said, let me let me just create something, bring something to you, you know? But what I'm doing, I'm actually here cleaning the bathroom. So while I'm cleaning the bathroom, I'm just, you know, decide I just come and just turn the camera on and just say what's on my mind, you know? Um if something is bothering me, I'm going to let you know. You know what I mean? I'm going to let you know. I'm going to let you. I'm going to wait until you get in my presence and I'm going to let you know how I feel. People may say, well, what is he talking about? What is he talking about? They'll do it because when they when they come off like that, they're probably coming off like they you really offended them or you offended them. But they come off in the slick side. It's like. And like, what is he talking about? And when you speak like that, when people are not used to you being up front with them, then they probably, some people just don't know how to take that. You know what I mean? They take you to be something is wrong with you. You know what I mean? But you're not. You just, um, the type of person, you just don't tell a person how they actually feel, you know? And... I can get on here and I can purposely, I can honestly boldly say that the white man is the enemy. He's the number one enemy on the planet. On, on the planet. And what I say, uh, on, on, you know, I'm, I'm putting it on camera so uh, if they come and watch this video, uh, I tell them in person, whether if I'm recording the video or whether if I'm uh, saying it to in, in person, I would say it. I said, well, yeah, you are. Yes, what you know, it is what it is. Just accept it. You know, you're the enemy. Your enemy enslaved our ancestors, forefathers, and foremothers. Yes, it happened. I mean, what it, what it, what is it to analyze? It happened. Accept it. Deal with it. You know, accept full responsibility for what you do. And uh, that's another thing I want to talk about too. Like, you know how some parents, they, they raise their kids and stuff like that. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You can't, it's more to it. You can physically provide for a child, but you have to teach them too. You got to teach them. You got to teach them. You can't just provide, providing for them and teaching them is two different things. You see what I'm saying? Those are two different things. You can be nice and good all day, but if you're not disciplining them, teaching them the right thing to do. Teaching means training. Training means teaching. Then you're still doing damage because one one can't be what you can't do with one can't do without the other. You have to have knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. You see what I'm saying? You gotta have knowledge and wisdom and understand. Knowledge is you have the product, you know, you have what you know the information but if you don't know how to articulate and know how to word, know how to be a debater when it comes to that information, then the information ain't does doing you no good. Wisdom is where you have the ability of knowing how to to word different things. You know how to use it. You see what I'm saying? You know how to do it. It's like having. It's like not knowing math. You see what I'm saying? You don't know math. You don't know how to read. You don't know how to write, which I've been there. It's like having, being in that type of mentality and be rich. But if you don't know how to count and people ripping you off, they can rip you off and take your money and stuff. It, don't, it Being rich and success, rich physically, financially, 
the riches and the wealth, it's not doing, it, it's really, it, it, it ain't doing you no good because you don't know how to count it. You don't know how to manage it. You see what I'm saying? So, it's important to know how to manage it. You know what I'm saying? A person can look good on the outside, but that doesn't mean a damn thing. Appearance, you, of course, you can be attractive, yes. But a lot of people have been deceived and fooled by looks. You can't go off of looks. You got people got the money, you got all the money in the world, and the biggest assholes you ever want to see. Still don't, but not even responsible. Still the biggest, like my grandpa, my, my mother's father said, the biggest, he, he'll say something like shit asses. And mm -hmm, biggest hypocrite you ever want to see. What would you rather have? Somebody who carried the package with a, with a messed up attitude or would you rather have somebody who don't have very much but they knows how to, when it comes down to business, when it comes down to being the man, handling things in the right way, doing things the right way, having that wisdom, being able to articulate to his woman or his uh, children or whatever. Or would you rather just have the man? Um, you see what I'm saying? Would you rather just have the man around you that has that's packing? Y'all know what I mean by that. I don't want him to say. And he just sit around and just she or he just sit around and be a bum, but they not being you know the uh, teaching and have the, the, the stable mind. You know, like being good stable minded people. You see what I'm saying? So, there's a difference. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't mean anything if the response, it comes with responsibility, you know? So, I feel like with me growing up, living the life that I live, I feel like it also it just taught me responsibility and stuff like that, you know? But, did I have a hard road? Yeah, it might not have been in the same way the the physical ancient slavery, but mentally and emotionally, it's just the same. It's just being done in a different way. We still living enslaved today. We still enslaved today. We still under slavery. It's just it's the same slavery. Like back then, we think ain't the slaves worked in the field, right, and all that kind of stuff. Our ancestors. They worked and forefathers and foremothers worked in the field, the natural physical field. Today, the field is like the, the workplace is like the job we work on. It's the same slavery, but it's just being, it's the same slavery, the same spirit, the same hatred. Just like every so-called white people, they have the, they, they are the, they are the spirit of their forefathers. And the people that, the, the so-called white people that's living now, they are the, they are their forefathers. So they reach living their forefathers. They are the product of, of, their, of their ancestors, just like we are the product of our forefathers and foremothers. You see what I'm saying? But slavery is still the same. Just like back then, they would like hang the slaves, castrate and cast, castrate slaves. You know what I'm saying? They would castrate them. The men would be castrated. The men would be raped. The women, they, they would, when you think of rape, people think it was just, uh, women, the, the so-called black woman doing slavery. No, they raped the men too, the so-called black men and stuff like that. And then they would take the mixed child, the mixed children, they would take them and breed them and make more slaves. You see what I'm saying? And I do understand a lot of people are going to come at me and they're probably going to say, well, slave is a, slavery is, is a mental, mental thing. It's a mental thing. It's not physical. Uh, some people say we free. You are enslaved because you choose to be in your mind. No. We are still in physical slavery to this day. Baruch in the Bible is called the Apocrypha. It, it, it says, behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. 
and we are still subject to payments, right? When people say, oh, you're free, they try to say, oh, you're free here in America. You're free in so-and-so. You're free in America. Well, guess what? Go out there and try to take and drive your car with no driver's license and no insurance. All that stuff. Go out there and no insurance on the car, no driver's license, no update tag or license plate on your car. Just plain go out there and drive it. And you're going to see exactly how free you is. Esau, the so-called white man, will pull you over and give you a flat-out ticket. Now, what do you call that? Now, some people will try to challenge me on that. They'll say, so, well, that's that, Well, that's just obeying. You got to obey the laws of the land. But do you know that the laws of the land that they tell you to obey, do you know that that is, they took and stole a lot of the laws from the Bible and stole it and took the laws out of context to say, servants, obey your masters and all that kind of stuff. They took that out the Bible to use it against us, not in a good way. Think about it. Even vegetables. Do you think they would feed and give our people pure vegetables and pure water during slavery? No. They gave the slaves the worst of the worst. They would give them, they wouldn't feed you the best of, I mean, the best of the best food. They gave you something, this thing, during, the purpose of slavery is to break you down mentally and emotionally. And when a lot of our ancestors and slaves came out of Egypt, came out of slavery or whatever, then when they came into, uh, you know what I'm saying, came into the, like they was on their way to the promised land, they wasn't the same. You see, you see what I'm saying? You have to ask yourself, what is your original language? See, that lets you know, we don't know our real language. What is our original diet? You see what I'm saying? They didn't give you your original. They stole that from the very beginning. They stole your culture. They stole your language. They stole your land. They stole your identity. Every other nationality on this planet can tell you who they are, except the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American people, so-called Haitian, which will be so-called Creole. Creole came from a French man. That's where he took, and that's where the free people of color was created up here in in Louisiana, the so-called free people of color. And so, therefore, uh, the, who benefited off of after our people was conquered? The reason why we don't know who we are is because we was conquered. Our language, our land, and everything was taken from us. You see what I'm saying? And that's why we speak English. You have to ask yourself, where did English come from? You see what I'm saying? So the information that we thriving off was information that was given was passed down from, our, from from slave owners and slave and gave it to the slave. That's what they did. They passed information on down. You see what I'm saying? And it, this is actually a prophecy in, in Jeremiah in the Bible. Uh, Jeremiah chapter four, uh, 17 and 4. It says, Even thyself shall discontinue from thy heritage, and I will cause thee to serve thy enemy in a land which thou knowest not. You see what I'm saying? So if you keep reading, it tells you the reason why we lost our inheritance. You see what I'm saying? We lost our inheritance because we refused to keep the commandments of the Most High. So those were punishments that he put up on us. But once we come back to him and keep his commandments, 613 in the Christian church, they taught us that it was six, I mean, excuse me, they taught us that it was 10 commandments in the, in, in, in the Christian church. That's what we was taught. But according to God, it's really 613 commandments. But we've just been lied to, and we've been told a lot of different things, and that's why we repeat 90, over 90% 90 of the things that we was taught and that we follow. All those things, have 90% we, 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 of it is, is false. You see what I'm saying? You call yourself African-American. Africa. What is Af what, what what who is America? Africa. And in America, uh, Africa is one white man's name, and America is another white man's name, named Vespucci. America Vespucci. He named himself after these things that we was conquered, and which was called Leo Scipius Anaconda's. You see, you see what I'm saying? In 1492, when Christopher Columbus came over here and he raped, robbed, and murdered the land. Then they took and they renamed these lands 
and they call, start calling these lands after their own names according to Psalm 49 and 11 in the Bible. These things are literally in the Bible. But in the Christian church, they gave us a, a whitewashed religion and told us that the so-called that, that Christ was a so-called white man. And we see that European image embedded it into all these different churches around the world, which is a lie. But we got to wake up and come back to who we are. And the only way we do that, we got to uh, come back. And uh, the, when, they, when they talk about the word repent, repent in the Bible simply means is to change. That's what the word repent means. It simply means to change. That's all it means. You, you see what I'm saying? So, uh, like I said, our original language, we don't even know, we, we say things and we repeat things and we don't understand why we say it. We speak English because English came from the Europeans. You see what I'm saying? They speak English. Why do you think the Mexicans speak Spanish? Because the Spaniards, Spain, in Spain, conquered them. You see what I'm saying? The Portuguese when they was conquered by the Portuguese, then they was named, and they gave them Spanish. You see what I'm saying? That's why they speak Spanish, because they was conquered. Their language was taken from them. And that's why we can't really understand the, the, the Mexicans and none of that, because the Mexicans is part of the so-called black people anyway. You know? That's why they can do things that we do because we, we have a lot in common. You know? When it comes to cooking, but, you know, the Bible, they, they build up identities in the Bible, too. It says, his car is a strong ass counted down between two burdens. That means the Mexicans are the most hardest working people on the planet. They work. They work from sun up to sun down. You know? But a lot of people don't think that's true. But they'll say, People will tell you like this here. Oh, I don't believe the Bible. The Bible is an anti-African fraud book or something like that. But I'm going to say it like this here. If you look around, everything that can happen on the planet, all the diseases that came on the planet, you have a lot of people have diabetes, right? You got all this killing going on around, around the earth. Now, some people will hear the tricky question. They will try to say, well, they got some good information in the Bible. Some of the information could be accurate. But not all of it, you know, some of the stuff was taken out. And how do you know that's the original book? How do you know that's the original Bible and stuff? How do you know they'll say it like this? And how do you know that that is the, the correct or uh, the proper information that you was given? You know, and they say that when they enslaved the people over in America, they turn around and they not only conquered them, stole everything they got, then they turn around and gave them a religion to where... You know what I mean? They, they turned around and gave them a slave religion, a slave identity, so that they, when they, uh, uh, this is the information that we're going to give them to enslave them. You see what I'm saying? And things of that nature. But, uh, it was something I was going to say. But, when you look around and you see Let's say the like the killers, but who who do who, who goes into schools and do a lot of mass shootings and stuff? The so-called white people, right? So when you equate that strip, that scroll to Revelation uh, twenty and verse ten, where it says, "And the devil that deceived them was cast into a lake of fire." The devil that deceived them. The word devil just simply means it's to deceive. And the so-called white man contributed all those. They 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 embodied or they they uh, they they identified all they, all those characteristics fit the Europeans. You see what I'm saying? It fits them because it's all over in the Bible. You see what I'm saying? It fits them because they commit more rape, robbery, murder on the scene than anybody. So, yeah. So uh, I enjoyed that. I don't know if YouTube will try to, I don't know. I mean, not by Facebook or whatever. Like, want you to keep it up on you. They'll, like, try not to try to spam it or something like that. I don't know. But we'll see.